Minted. Hey everybody, it's the DMOC900 and welcome to my very first Let's Play of Luigi's Mansion, a 2001 Nintendo GameCube launch title. I've been looking forward to doing Let's Playing for quite some time now, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. I'll go ahead and select file number 3. Now, what I like about this title screen, as you can see, it'll show up in just a second, right there it says welcome to your mansion, now watch what happens. Did you guys see that? Um, the Y went away. And right now it says, Welcome to your mansion. Now watch what happens. Now it says, Welcome to our mansion. Seems pretty scary, doesn't it? Well, so we start the game in the Boo Woods. I'll get into how I got the name the Boo Woods in a minute. So I'll go ahead and shut up and let you guys hear the intro. And welcome to the very first room of the mansion. This is the foyer, or the foyer for your French or wealthy people. Unless you're probably thinking of Richie Rich or something. Okay. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go ahead and take a look around the place. Um, the controls I'll get into a little bit later. So for the time being, I'm not going to talk about the controls quite yet. And those lightning strikes will appear at a random moment. So we're going to go up here and get some point. So what we're going to want to do is, we're going to go to this door. God damn it, it's locked. What? What's that sound? Mario. Peach. Daisy. Mama Luigi. Hmm. Uncle Sam. Oh, why did I think of Uncle Sam right like there? Ooh, shiny. It has a key in the minute. Pretty convenient, I guess. And, hey, where's Shiny going? Me want Shiny. I must approach the Shiny. Shiny, come back here to me. I guess we're going after the Shiny then. So, the only way we're going to go after that Shiny is go ahead and collect this key. I like my teeth. Now, I'm going to keep saying I like my teeth every time I pick up keys, alright? It's just how I am, okay? I'm gonna say random things when I pick up certain objects. So, now that we've gotten the key, wouldn't you know it, we'll go to this room. So let's go ahead and turn the key. Open this. And what will be in here? This is the parlor, by the way. Dramatic moment right there, Luigi. Don't you think? Holy mother of God! You're no shiny at all. You're an imposter. But what is this? <laughs> Ouch! Oof, it took a lot of knocks in this line of work. Really? Getting old for this ghost catching tomfoolery. <laughs> uh, tomfoolery is just a funny word. I don't really get it though. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Professor Egad. I can tell you. Sounds I swear seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young fella like you doing on anywho? Well, we got a map right here saying that our mansion's right here, so here we are, I guess. Uh oh, this is ugly. Alright, youngster. Look like me. Follow me. Push taste. This is push taste too. I don't really get that word, but it's fun to say. So your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. What makes you think that we are destined to meet? Who we just met? Oh my God. Hmm? Where did you ask? Are these close to go to where they want to go study? 
Okay, Luigi, I can see now why so many people can't take you seriously. You're scratching your butt while talking to someone. God, even I can't take you seriously. Professor Egas goes to search laboratory. The lab, if you're such a short name mind. Yeah, we'll just call it the lab, I guess. You won this mansion in a contest you didn't even enter? Sounds pretty fishy to me. That is the story of this game. Luigi got a letter saying that he won a mansion in a contest that he didn't even enter. So you believe this mansion actually exists then? Strange. Well, what makes you think that it exists? Or doesn't exist, I guess. I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so, and I'll tell you, that mansion appeared just a few days ago. In a game called Mario and Luigi's Partners in Time, we meet a young E again when he's a lad of 20 or so. Um, his lab got destroyed, and then he went off into the Boo Woods and into his other lab. So this is technically that lab. Back to the future, I guess. No, not really. I don't really like that movie, really. The spirits have fooled you. No shit. <laughs> I don't know if it's a dream or illusion or what all, but I surely wouldn't be too happy waiting in a haunted house. Me neither. Now that I get a good look at you, I just recalled a guy with a red hat kinda like yours went into the mansion without even stopping to chat, and he never returned. Was he a dream too? He was real. What? That guy was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible. If you stand a chance against the ghost, without my help, you'll have to go after him. Here's the plan, I'll teach you to deal with ghosts so you can rescue your brother Luigi. Alright! Alright, so this is the screen for your controls. Um, I'll go ahead and talk about them as I uh, explained. I'm a man of my word. Um, the control stick, of course, is to move Luigi. Pretty self explanatory. Um, the C stick moves the flashlight up and down. What I don't like about it, it's inverted controls. It also moves from Luigi here left to right. Uh, oh, not really. I'm just looking left to right, I guess. Um, uh, turning the flashlight on and off is just uh, holding it on the B button to turn it off. Let go of it to turn it back on. Pressing the A button does more than just what it says right here. It examines and opens a door. You can check, check checkable objects as well. You can also, which is probably the dumbest thing that Nintendo ever came up with, is just calling out for Mario. I don't really get it. Uh, pressing the X button <laughs> searches with the <laughs> searches around. Pretty useful. Uh, pressing the Y button shows you the map of the mansion. Pretty useful at a later time so in case you ever get lost. The Z button will check your inventory. I'll probably do that one so you guys can take a look at it. Pressing the R button sucks things up, which is pretty good. Don't say a word. And pressing the L button shoots out her fire, water, and ice. We're not going to be doing any of that for quite some time. So this screen right here basically asks if you want to stick with standard controls, which is basically for what you're seeing right now. Or you can kind of go into sidestep. Which is basically moving Luigi left to right with your control stick, and basically, it's basically a dual analog control sticks. I've never been a fan of going with that, so I say we're just gonna stick with standard though. So now that we've been staring at the screen for about a little more than a minute now, if you stay on the screen for about an extra minute, I guess, maybe a little bit more, probably right about now, I guess. Uh, you will be hearing a hidden music, which only happens on this certain screen. This is another. This is one of them Easter eggs. So, while we wait, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys a little bit myself. Since it's my very first time here doing a Let's Play, I might as well explain myself. My name is Derek Bradford. I am a resident of Grove City, Ohio, which is basically a place where weather can happen. <laughs> okay. Um... I am a freshman at Columbus State Community College, which is the college where the world is going. Um, the community college at Columbus State, well, basically Columbus State Community College, is actually the biggest community college in the state of Ohio. It's a great place where you can get certain educations. I am planning on studying zoology or a certain kind of biology in the near future. Remember, kids, getting educations and will help you succeed in life. So, I would say for the duration of this screen, of waiting for the music, for if we wait for about 10 seconds now, we're going to go ahead and hear the music. So, here we go.
And there was that little Easter egg right there. That's the vacuum cleaner I engineered to catch ghosts. I call it, this is genius, the Poltergeist 3000. It could suck up all kinds of things and let it rip. Use the R button to vacuum and the C stick to change your direction. That's pretty self explanatory, so basically, I'm going like this. Um, your controls are automatically changed to sidestep, so this is basically what it is for dual analog. I do not like that. No matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings. They can't be caught using conventional means. Well, I guess uh, uh, vacuum cleaners are kind of uh, conventional, I guess. Well, I don't know. So you better use this. It's the only way to foil them. This is the only thing they fear. Or something to that effect. <clears throat> well, how about uh, we get started uh, with your training? Now, I really like the background right here. I'll listen. So basically, right here, he's basically telling us that the way on how this works, you want to stun the ghost with your flashlight, and when you do that, and right there it says, it's vacuuming time. That's kind of an irony right there, because I'm playing the game for when Luigi's doing vacuuming, and I don't like vacuuming in real life, so basically, you stun the ghost with the flashlight, you only press the right trigger, and pull in the opposite direction with the control stick. Uh, these first enemies right here, these are golden ghosts. They are your, I guess, yeah, some people compare to Goombas in this game. Uh, they will always have 10 HP. You'll see have different forms of them a little bit later. Pretty explanatory. Right. Anyway, now that uh, we have two ghosts right here, I'd like him to do this. So can I do it? Come on. Ah! So I missed. What? Unintentional Chuck a Condre and <laughs> moment right there. Jeez. Uh, I'm sorry, you guys. I, I just had to do it. I am a Chuck a Condre fan, alright? Um, Chuck, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I am a fan. You are the source of what's gotten me into doing Let's Plays, alright? Is it here to come? So I can do it this time. Yeah! Two for the present one. And. Yeah! Three for the price of one! Booyah! Can we just go sit in the corner? Catching ghosts means using the flashlight and the Poetry Ghost 3000 as a scene. You get me on Fuller? Well, how many did you get? Wow, 10 ghosts. Wow! Damn, I thought I was gonna get fewer than that. Alright, but I'll take it. I see you ready to go look for your brother now. Fine, fine. Looks like you worked up on quite a sweat there. How about a cool down in the gallery? I'm quite proud of it, you know. Um, this is optional. You don't have to go here, but if we do go here, we do get a little bit of a history of the mansion. Now, what I like about this place is that these two statues right here. I don't know how we managed to bring these down to the mansion. Probably would never know, but eh, whatever. Tatio, welcome to the gallery. I had 21 paintings of my famous ghost collection. But now there are only friends. What a crying shame. Fortunately, there are only statues here now. But I, but feel free to look around it. Anyway. Use the X-Bind to check with your surroundings for that Game Boy horror I gave you. Be sure to search uh, suspicious places extra well. Center by pressing A. Don't try on the uh, angel statues. <laughs> you mean like this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, let's talk to you again. You done pushing in the air for the day, Luigi? No! Okay, I promise never to do that again. Mm. Young lad designed a machine that turned ghosts into paintings and traveled the world collecting them. Oh, it was glamorous, I tell you. So basically, you invented a machine to capture ghosts and turn them into paintings. Very impressive. Well, now I have to tell you a horrifying story. The last ghost they caught was number 22 Blossus, but now there are a lot of boos and King Boo rallied them all up to take revenge upon me. They used my machine to free Boo Losses from the paintings and they went and turned all my other portraits back into ghosts too. If that weren't enough, they built a mansion in front of my lab in the space of a single night and then they all hid inside. If I told anybody else about this, they would probably have me committed. Really? Why would they have you committed? They're dead. I'm sure my portrait ghosts are somewhere inside the mansion. I just have to get them back. Seems rather sophisticated for a professor like you trying to collect ghost paintings. So, what's going on back to the lab? Where will you go now? To the mansion. Now, you get to the lab, it's an outhouse, but. I think that there's either a ladder or stairs that lead you down to his main part of the lab. I guess that's probably it's an entrance already. 
now that we're back at the mansion, we are armed. Alright, so, first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and talk to Toad here. Ooh, where did Mario go? What? Huh? Luigi? Wow, wow, it's Luigi. You finally made it. Oh, joy. Thank goodness. Me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. Okay, so... You're good at finding stuff, but then <laughs> you decided to come here and you found no trace of him whatsoever. And freaking out a little is, is crying like crazy. No wonder why it's been awful for you. Please, you have to help me find Mario. If he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. You have to say, leave it to me. And you will be rewarded with lights coming on in this area. And the toad here will uh, actually, mm. oh, not right, actually, he will save your game for you. You're going to want to do this uh, at certain points of the game. I'm not kidding. Talk to me here if, if you need any help. Um, we're probably going to need to talk to you a couple of times, but if you check this mirror with the Game Boy Horror by pressing X, if you check it, this happens. Basically what happens is, uh, you'll be warped back into the foyer uh, in case you ever need to go back somewhere. And if you check this chandelier, you will get a crap ton of money. Um, in this game, you're going to be collecting various forms of currency. This is one of the things that I believe why so many people seem to not like this game for whatsoever reasons. Um, the money in this game, which by the way, I'll probably talk about uh, on how much uh, each one costs at a little bit later time. Um, this is one of the things why I believe so many people don't seem to like this game. The money in this game is actually being graded here at the end. Oh, the end of the cherry. I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, we're going to suck up all this money. Don't say a word and woohoo! Money's galore! Okay, we're getting a crap ton of money. Here. Alright, we got more money. I can't, that's not a little bit weird how I said that, but oh well. So here. Alright, more money. I like the money. Show me the money. Oh, what you want to do is, these candles are here, you want to blow these out with your vacuum. <laughs> Who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lime Green? The dark rooms are dangerous around here, yes. They love the dark, and now they will get you, blue head. Now you're in for it, blue huh? Just like little red cap before you. May you wander lost in the darkness forever! You afraid of the dark, little man, are you? Huh? Blah! -ha! Here they are now. <laughs> Alright, so basically he's telling us that the ghosts have arrived in the room. Uh, you didn't turn them. Uh, that heart right there, since it's the smallest one, it will always recover 10 HP. And if you see, Luigi has a heart of his own, it will be at 100. If it goes down to zero, well, you get the idea. He dies. And where's the last one? There you are. In here. And... Oh, how did I lose a health and a coin right there? Ah, whatever. I guess it really doesn't matter. So, go ahead and don't call for Mario. Open this. Here we get a key. I like my teeth. All right. And that key is going to take us to the antique room, and that will always show you where the key is heading. So now, I think it's probably a good idea if we end this video off here. This video for me has actually been pretty successful, so... Next time on Luigi's Mansion, we're going to be taking our newly obtained key and heading it out to the antique room, which is right here. So, see you guys in episode 2.